Okay guys, so I'm probably gonna start an argument here, but a grounding pigtail is required in a metal box. It does not matter if you're using MC cable conduit, uh, P EMT conduit, IMC rigid, PVC, it does not matter. It is required. Now there are certain stipulations to where you can get around that, but if you have a grounding conductor in your raceway, which means a green wire that is supplied to be the grounding conductor, then you are required to have a grounding screw installed with a copper jumper or aluminum jumper. So there's a lot of dispute about not using pigtails and using the receptacle brass plate where the screws go instead of using this grounding pigtail. But I'm telling you right now, if your conduit or MC cable has a provided green grounding conductor, you must use a grounding pigtail in your box and you size that based on the size of your current supplying wire gauge so just wanted to update y'all on that and uh, i believe that's article 250.148 of the nec that's 2017 and 2020 so if you need to go look it up go look it up like i say there is a couple exemptions but you're gonna have to install a uh, grounding conduct uh grounding connectors at each end of your conduit and the green wire inside the conduit would not be would not be pulled it would it would not exist so if you have a green wire in your conduit use a pigtail thanks have a also if you just absolutely want to fight the system and you don't want to use pigtails and you did use uh bonding bushings on your conduit connectors and you did not pull a ground wire in your conduit then don't forget when you put these receptacles in to take the little plastic pieces that are holding the screws in off because if not then your receptacle will not be bonded to your mud ring or your box cover so make sure you take those plastic pieces off if you absolutely don't want to use pigtails I think it's easier just to use pigtails and it's probably cheaper than buying bonding bushes. So that's just my opinion. Uh, Y'all thanks for watching and look up article 250.148 of the NEC if you want to read further into this. Thanks for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe for all our future videos and have a great day.